Here's a close-up of a happy little tree and a happy little forest that I am drawing and showcasing my beautiful cross-hatching and shading. Just kidding. But uh, there's some unusual trees in this forest as well. Tree monsters. Uh, you really don't need this guy. You don't really need to be afraid of him. He's more afraid of you. I mean, as long as you're over the age of probably five or six, he does snatch up and eat small children if they get lost in the woods. So, but if you're a big, burly, manly man like me, he'll just, uh, you know, move his body in such a way that it looks just like a weathered old stump. This guy, though, it's more of a tree goblin. He will snatch you up, pull you down into his burrow. I don't know what he does to does to you. Probably eats you too. Anyway, so the reason I decided to draw these guys was um, partly because one of my goals with my my tree creatures, tree people, ants, is to make them as like diverse as possible, so that no two are alike. But also, I decided to move away from making trees look like old men because I don't want them to be Ents. I want them to be, I don't want them tied to Lord of the Rings. I want them to be like my own thing. And so adding like just weird tree, tree creatures that look like all sorts of things um, into the mix Kind of takes it away from the uh, the Lord of the Rings thing, because you know they're all tree creatures, and some of them look like old men, but you know they're all you know kind of in the same set of uh, art pieces. So yeah, um, it's I really love doing the bark. It's really fun. And it's really exciting when you see something really cool and unique come out. I'm I'm really happy with this so far. It's not done yet. I got some got some work to do on it, and I will add color to it. But that's it. I don't have names for them. Come up with something. <laughs>